wee. Oh my goodness. It is a hot one today. Hot, hot, hot. Good morning. Hi. It is uh, the day after 4th of July. If you're coming in live to the Women Who Soar Morning Huddle, which happens every day, typically. Yesterday it didn't happen. Um, at 9.15 Eastern, uh, we'll be chatting. We'll be chatting about your business. We'll be chatting about you. We'll be chatting about um, getting ready for your day. And as you can tell, I, it is hot. And I, I wanted to be outside because it's so beautiful out here. But boy, oh boy, it's warm. But it's probably not as warm as it is where some of you are. So anyone in Texas, Texas is super hot. Can't even be outside, right? So I'm going to continue to fan myself as I, I guess we're live since there's there's a few people in here. So good morning. Who's coming in today? And and come say hello. What'd you do for the 4th of July? Um, I did nothing for the 4th of July. I laid in my pool and I laid outside and I sat around a fire and I had spent a lovely time with my husband just talking um, yeah, it was really nice. It was, it was lovely. And now today, um, back to huddles. So, uh, we're going to talk about something that, um, or do you find yourself? So the question that I have is, do you find yourself busy quite often? Do you find yourself just like being busy? And then, um, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, we are like, was I productive? Like, what what did I do? What did I do that was productive? Um, so that's a that's a question that I have for all of you: is when you have, when you're busy, when you find yourself busy with work and with kids and with errands and with life and with your business. At the end of the day. Do you, Tori, have you ever entoried your day to say, like, what did I actually do today? And what did I do that was productive? And you can define, you can define productive however, however you'd like. Um, but today I want to talk about a, a, a instrument, a tool, a lifelong practice that I learned uh, while studying. So, I studied empowering women's leadership at Cornell, and there was a, an amazing uh, professor that Dr. Scott Young, and Dr. Scott Young um, founded, I don't know if that's the right word, um, founded a, a formula for, for people to use, and the formula is called um, flow. So some of you, it's like a, a word that seems to be trending around the online space, uh, which is like getting into flow. Have you ever heard of that? Any of you like getting into flow? So when I, when I was studying women's studies and empowering women's leadership, this professor um, has since taught other professors this this formula of 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 flow and what it is and they taught it to me and what it is is it's a a it's a formula it's a how to how to get into your most productive state of mind have any of you ever heard of this before i'm really curious if you've if you've heard of this before so this 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 flow state, this how to get to your most productive state of mind was actually founded by this professor at MIT and has since brought it to, to different schools. And what the reasoning why they initially started teaching it was to help students. So it was to help students with, um, with testing. And now it's being taught in different, in, in, like it was taught to me, um, so it's and in different um, areas. So specifically when 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 I learned it, bye honey, 
love you too. My, my daughter's leaving to go to work. Um, so specifically when I was taught, it was to how, how to achieve a state of flow, a state of being most productive um, and when it comes to women. <laughs> so in like women's lives and what, what we carry. Oh, ouch, I have an itch there. Something just like got me. So that gives you some narrative back, background. So when we find ourselves being constantly busy, um, and at the end of the day, we find ourselves like, gosh, I was so busy today, but I don't feel like I was productive. We are not in what's called the flow state. A flow state is where we are feeling most productive. We are able to be very productive and and it not feel super busy and super weighed down and super pressury. It's a feeling of it's a feeling of flow. So um, this is a practice. This is a practice that is taught. This is a practice that I can't teach in 10 minutes. Um, it is quite, uh, it is invaluable, but it is quite lengthy. <laughs> uh, but, but one of the things I'd like to share today to help you begin to start thinking about when, when am I, when I'm feeling really busy and when I'm feeling like, gosh, I've done so much, but I wasn't productive, What I'd like you to do today as a starting place is I had mentioned to you, like, at the end of the day, do you ever inventory, like, what you've done through the day? And most of the times it's like a blur because we're we're so busy. So the one of the first steps to achieving this flow state, um, achieving this flow state, surprisingly... Surprising, it's not anything mind blowing, <laughs> but surprisingly, one of the ways to achieve this flow state is to start at centering in to your, look, I'm so sweaty, centering into your zone of genius. If you know your zone of genius, as soon as you get up in the morning, so, um, so that's why people start their day with meditation and quiet time. That morning time is really sacred to people because they're trying to start their day, obviously, with, with being spiritually led versus emotionally driven, um, but also to quiet, to quiet their brain so they can get into a state of flow. But there's like a bunch of levels above that, that, that are true states of flow where you're truly within that zone of genius. And zone of genius, that's a, that's a Gary Hendricks thing. That's not a Dr. Scott Young thing. So I don't want to confuse you. This simply, simply getting into to flow is where you are most productive and not feeling busy. So one of the ways I'd like you to start doing that start beginning to get there because it takes it takes lots of practice is right now right now at this very very moment i'd like you to get a pen and paper and i'd like you to write down this question i don't know if it's a question it's not so right now on a pen and paper i'd like you to write down these words some of you might know this if you um hang with me one on one so write, describe, describe one way, describe one way, describe one experience, that's even better, describe one experience where I have brought value to the world. Describe one experience where are you to the world. So you may be asking, why is this journaling 
going to help me be more productive and put me in this state of flow that you're talking about. And so what journaling, answering this question, now when you work with me, you have to do it 15 times. So um, this is just one. So describe one experience where you have brought value into the world. And I'd like you to write what, what your response is. Um, now you don't have to do that at this exact moment, um, but after the call, if you have time, that would be great. So, um, so when I was taught this and I wrote down my experience, my first, my first one, you know, I wrote down my experience of growing up in a single parent home and growing up with a mom that was a powerhouse and growing up with a mom that ended up getting really sick and becoming an adult that also was a single mom and becoming a daughter that had to take care of my mother and how that led me to wanting to work with women more, but not really sure how. And starting to work with women founders throughout my corporate, throughout my corporate um, tenure and how I loved working with those women founders and that it had such an impact, which led me to wanting to study empowering women's leadership, which ultimately led me to um, working with and for a startup and then ultimately now being a business coach. So I described, I described an experience, my experience. I described an experience that brought value to the world. One, one of them, because we can go down, there's a ton. So I want you to start your day with describing a, an experience that has brought value to the world. And I want you just to sit with that. Just sit with that for a little bit. And then and I want you to go about your day. Is this this is a very it takes a lot of time. <laughs> so I just want you to know the definition. So the definition, like if you're feeling really busy and at the end of the day not feeling productive. There is a state that you can start working towards getting into, which is a state of flow. And a state of flow is when you are most productive, when you are able to be completely in your zone of genius and not feel, head feel, this pressure, this overwhelm, this busy. And so one of the first things to do to start helping you, this is one small little tiny practice, is when you get up in the morning, when you're meditating, when you're already trying to get centered, write down, des describe, describe and write down an experience where you have brought value to the world and sit with that experience and then go throughout your day. I would love to hear some feedback on if you have heard of flow, if you were taught it in school, some of our, some of my um, clients that are um, like in HR and our DEI had, had this class. Um, and just let me know if this was helpful today. I'd love, I'd love to hear some, some feedback. And if you want more, like, like if this is an area that you want more of, certainly I can bring in some workshops if you're inside the, the master's group. So, okay, everyone have a wonderful Wednesday. I'm going to go get my hair done. As you can see, there's so much gray happening. So I'm going to go get my hair done later and um, love y'all. Have a blessed day.